What's up guys, welcome back. This is a speed test between the Galaxy S8 versus the Nokia 8. So you might be thinking why I'm assuming this Nokia 8 is a filming front camera. I've lost my mic in the journey yesterday. I really don't know where it is. I'm just assuming it is lost. So I'm going to order a new one. So by the way, you can see this is uh, backside. This is a Nokia 8. Just to tell you guys this is Nokia 8. So anyway, so uh, this video is basically a speed test. There's a couple of differences. You know, uh, both devices are kind of different price tag. The Samsung Galaxy S8 is the really kind of super flagship device which all the cutting edge features but there's a similarity between the Nokia 8 versus the Galaxy S8 and that is the specs I'll tell you why uh, exactly the specs are not similar yeah exactly I mean I'll tell you how so internal storage 64 gigabytes is common in both the phones expandable storage is there they both have the 4 gigabytes of RAM which is nice to have it but the Samsung Galaxy devices comes with two sorts of uh, processor so mine is having Exynos which is again a 10 nanometer based uh, chipset which is again used in the same Snapdragon A35 but on paper and on technical terms this Exynos is slightly faster compared to the Snapdragon variant so anyway so uh, I'm using this device uh, this Nokia 8 from a week almost four to five days and this Galaxy S8 so all I can say you guys that in terms of speed and performance both phones were pretty much the same now in this video uh, you can actually tell and feel how much difference do you have when you run a uh, very heavily customized you know this Android versus a Nero but a premium stock and right so this will tell you how about the memory management which phone does able to resume application and games more easily compared to the one you have the, uh, this one highly skin one so this is what I'm going to show you in this video so we'll be doing a speed test benchmarking and fingerprint test and some other speed test real life tests so, so guys let's get started both devices are turned off Samsung Galaxy S8 Nokia 8 so I'm just putting in here just going to turn them on in 3 2 1 Felt the vibration first on the Nokia 8. Let's see which one does turns on first. So I just checked here. This one is taking 24 seconds based on from previous speed test with the Vitas 5. I'm not sure. Maybe it's going to take somewhere near to 20 seconds. So maybe lesser than that. So, so Nokia has got this food thing first, and followed by I guess should be Samsung. So they just the second difference. Nothing more than that. Alright guys, so this is a default setup on both the devices with the default launcher. So starting our test with a Facebook 3 to 1. And both applications launching for the small applications it is um, it's near about the similar YouTube. Till now Nokia is launch, loading the data first as you can see. Both the phones, uh, I don't think so that makes much difference. Instagram, again uh, slightly faster on the Nokia 8. So this is where things are more important. We are going to launch games, Temple and 2. So animations delay you will see in this Galaxy S8. I don't know why because, maybe because of so much uh, you know, customization things, background services they are using. So, ok, here gets the data first. I am just going to minimize the, the volume. Alright guys, I have muted the volume. Moving to the next, this is uh, Subway Surfer. Let's see. So till now Nokia is launching games faster, slightly faster, I see differences there here and there but as you can see, just a second fraction of difference, Pokemon Go this thing is going to take time on both the phones, only the OnePlus 5 I have seen it is launching faster, so Nokia it is going slightly ahead here on the Galaxy, so we got just, uh, I don't know, some issues in locking but still it is taking now we've got it so till now Nokia 8 is working faster and just to tell you guys this is a new phone this is one I'm using for almost many months haven't done any research so Android gets slows down I'm just not taking care of the Galaxy I'm just telling you what I'm experiencing you guys also see the similar thing with time Android gets a little bit slow and laggy so far uh, we see Nokia 8 is faster in almost all the games we have launched slightly faster just a second you can see not more than that but again it's taking uh, launching pretty fast on the galaxies also so you can see this one get S fault came first on this one galaxy you can see this is called animation delay so these are some website loading tests I'm going to load this youtube.com my home page so here galaxy you can see loads the browsing data first let's try for the twitter this one here on the nokia 8 again so let's try out the same camera application. So I know uh, this uh, 
Nokia 8 camera takes a bit of time in focusing. So launching camera in 3, 2, 1. So Galaxy is faster now. This Nokia is doing still struggling to focus. So anyway, let's try out for the setting and see. 3, 2, 1. Slightly faster on the Nokia. So uh, mapping, let's see which one takes my location first. So Galaxy uh, finds my current location faster. So we have launched many application games. Let's see which one does have all things in memory. This is guys where you should check because that's what I was telling you. Because Samsung does so many things in the background. It's always just ran out of the memory. It's always recommended to have S8 plus with 6 gigabytes of RAM option. That is more important. So this time Galaxy has this Facebook on the memory. But Nokia doesn't. So doing sort of refreshment. Oh, not refreshment, refresh actually. So Twitter, let's see. Both are okay in the memory. This one, Instagram, in the place. So let's try out the game. This is very more important. So we have launched five games together. So uh, please watch my guys' previous speed test. So OnePlus 5 having 8 gigabytes of RAM, having all the games and same games in the memory. Please watch it. Let's see which one holds which number of games here. Temple into uh, one Nokia 8 has this in the memory while Galaxy is launching it launch the background Subway Surfer Nokia has in the memory this one is launching again sorry resuming again so Pokemon Go I guess both of them are going to reload here because I have done so many speed tests with these devices between before filming this video so I can tell you so both of uh, them are just reloading again let's try out for Dead Trigger 2 which one has it? Uh, both of them doesn't. So, Nokia it also having four gigabytes of RAM. This is sort of limitation. I believe uh, each hundred flash should be having six gigabytes at least for the flagship phones because uh, you should not have compromised. Nokia it has the memory. So it's uh, reloaded three game, two games out of five, and this one reloads all the games because these things are just pushing everything out. Let's try it for this the base applications there in the memory. So Galaxy is doing sort of refreshing here. This one here is on the phone. So, alright, guys, this is a quick speed test. Next thing we are going to see is the real life performance test. So, we are going to launch the same applications and the games and all the system applications. And again, we are going to resume it. So, this is just a fast forward way. I just wanted to show you guys how much time difference exactly will it take in both the phones. You know, if you're doing the same stuff, I mean, if you have set up shortcuts on your home screen, you are doing this uh, resuming launching maybe 10 times, 20 times in a day if you're a very pro user, power user. So each minute is important for you because I mean, this life is getting busy nowadays. So half an hour to one hour difference definitely makes a lot of difference. If you don't bother with the features, just want to save your time. Probably this thing is best will tell you. So I'm just showing you guys the best possible result. Sometimes I'm, I've got uh, maybe lesser than that and sometimes maybe more time difference. But here is uh, just a quick one. So Nokia it took 2 minutes and 52 seconds while Galaxy S8 is still on the way. And just resuming all the stuff still we are on the game side we have so many things to resume like the websites we are resuming loading and we are about to the complete let's see how much time does it take is 3 minute 48 seconds so it's more than a minute difference which is definitely matters a lot and next thing guys we want to see is the benchmarking comparison those who are really worried about the number so uh, snapdragon 835 processor uh, gives an average of 170k plus because i'm using oneplus 5 from almost many months so each time i'm getting near about to that score so please watch that test to see the more details so you might have seen the old numbers too so this is the new numbers now so i'm just going to cut it short here so geek benchmark is about to the complete nokia 8 versus uh, 6.5 or 6.6k nokia 8 introduced came 174k versus 175k on the galaxy is pretty great number last thing i wanted to show you guys is the fingerprint speed test so i'm using both them together so i do not find them in a laggy both looks pretty great so only problem with nokia 8 fingerprint sensor is that you cannot disable the haptic feedback it will be always there while in the galaxy i can do that and uh, as you can see it's very tiny fingerprint sensor too so let's test it out on the screen on two so you can see they are pretty great galaxy has slight animation that's why it is slow otherwise it's very great too so guys there you have it this is your nokia 8 polish blue compared to the galaxy s8 so at the end if you really don't care about the features definitely this is again a great respect phone but if the 6 gigabytes there definitely should be better well the galaxy gives a lot of feature nokia is a simple device choice is yours for fast performance nokia 8 for featureful phones galaxy 8 is the best choice stay tuned to the channel for more updates more videos coverage for your galaxies in nokia this is Saurabh. i will talk to you very soon have a great day